If you're the moderator, once you've scheduled a meeting in Teams, go to the meeting, right click, and select Edit. The screen refreshes. You'll have available any chat files with that meeting, any files that were uploaded, the details, you'll see a scheduling assistant, or you can check other people's calendars, any meeting notes, and a whiteboard. Meeting options refreshes to a new browser. And here, there's important stuff for the moderator to control the meeting. When the browser loads, your first option is who can bypass the lobby. The default setting is anybody in the organization. You can set this to everybody that's invited or specific people that might be co-presenters that need to get set up, or you can limit it to yourself. The default setting is that people cannot bypass the lobby until the moderator arrives. You can toggle on or off to announce callers when they join or leave the meeting. And finally, you have the ability to limit who can present. The default setting is everyone. You can limit this to people in your organization, specific people that may be co-presenting, or only yourself. Selecting only me allows you to limit the attendees from muting other people's microphones. Select Save to update the changes.